In this session, we will learn upgrading Oracle 18C database to Oracle 19C. In the previous session, we have upgraded a grid infrastructure from 18C version to 19C version. Now we are going to upgrade the database from 18C version to 19C version. This would uh, fully complete the total upgrade uh, process. Database Upgrade Assistant is the tool to upgrade your Oracle database. Database Upgrade Assistant, DBUA, provides a graphical user interface to guide you through the upgrade of Oracle database. DBUA automates the upgrade process by performing all of the tasks. It is the recommended method for performing database upgrades. Database upgrades works for container databases as well as non-container databases. And it also supports a upgrade of Oracle Rack databases. And in Rack environments, DBUA upgrades all the databases and configuration files on all nodes in the cluster. So now we will go ahead and uh, use DBUA to upgrade our database. So first we need to install the new version of the Oracle database software and then we'll start DBUA and upgrade our database. So with this, let us go to system. First we need to install the 19C version binaries. And uh, I have downloaded the 19C version software and uh, staged under uh, E01 stage 19C. So here you have the binaries, the zip file of the database home. We just have to extract this to the new database home. Before that, we need to first uh, create the new database home and uh, let me create that. So we'll follow OFA standard and uh, create uh, something like this. User on app Oracle product, product release, db home underscore one okay uh, let us create this as a root user and change the permissions to ownership to oracle i will create this as a root user oracle and uh, change the ownership to Oracle and uh, go install on your one app. All right, we need to repeat this on node two also. Let us go to node 2 and create this directory. And change the ownership to Oracle or install.
So once this is done, let us uh, uh, extract this software, which is under this one, unzip this. Where under the new Oracle Home Directory, you don't have Oracle product. So let us wait for this uh, extractor to complete. All right, uh, the software has been extracted now. Just before upgrading the database, let us verify the current version of the database. Let me connect it to the database. Now the existing database is, you can see 18C version release 18.3 you can even query uh, select a star from v dollar version so it shows you the existing database version is 18c all right once after extracting the software we have to set up the oracle home so let us go to the new oracle home Execute a run installer and choose setup software only. We are not going to create a database and choose a rack and ensure both nodes are appearing and selected. Choose enterprise edition specify Oracle base and Oracle home is selected automatically. And uh, specify the database administration groups. Uh, most of the time the OUI automatically picks the correct groups. Uh, so just uh, click next. and automatically run root scripts, provide a root password. All right, uh, some of the checks may show warning or failure. These are mainly related to DNS and uh, NTP, uh, which we are not using. So just uh, you can say, ignore all and say next, say yes. That's it, now install and it will set up the software which will take some time and uh, we'll come back at the right time. All right, now we need to Confirm root scripts execution. Just press yes. That's it. Now the software setup has been completed. Close this. So once the software has been set up, you can set the environment variables uh, for the new version of the Oracle software. In my case, I have set the environment variable, especially Oracle base and uh, Oracle home to the new software version. And in the path, I have included Oracle home bin. So once this is done, you can start a DBUA by just uh, executing DBUA. Make sure you start the DBUA from the 19C Oracle form. All right, now uh, choose the database which you want to upgrade. We have only one database, it is automatically selected. VRCL 18 version rack and provide the sys user and the password. So before starting the upgrade, 
DBVA performs the pre-upgrade checks. All right, now the pre-upgrade checks have been completed and some recommendations, pre-upgrade recommendations, remove hidden parameters, post-upgrade recommendations. So these are just recommendations and uh, you can uh, follow them or you can just ignore them. So I am just ignoring them. Then proceed with the next steps. Uh, enable parallel upgrade. By default upgrade is done in parallel. Recompile invalid objects. Upgrade time zone data. Uh, that's it. Say next. And uh, in case of upgrade failure, you can recover the database uh, using flashback or rman backup. In case if you want to use flashback uh, or rman, you have to choose these one of these two options. If you don't want to use flashback or rman because you have your own backup that you can restore from, choose the last one. I have my own backup and uh, restore strategy. In real environments, uh, before upgrading the database, you will have backup. In case if the upgrade fails, you can restore from backup. And RMAN, you can uh, use a DBC, DBUA RMAN backup feature. Before upgrading, it will perform backup. Or you can use flashback guaranteed restore point. So for now, I have my own backup restore strategy, the last option, click next. Then configuration management, database express, click next. All right, then the final summary before upgrading, showing you the source database name, version, Oracle Home, target database name, version, Oracle Home, and uh, some pre-upgrade checks recommended, and uh, all those options. So once so this is verified, say finish. This will start the upgrade process and uh, upgrade your 18C version database to 19C. All right, now the process has started. Let it uh, take its own time. I'm pausing the video now and come back at the right time. All right, now you can see the upgrade has been completed successfully. And uh, you can see the upgrade results on this page. The message database upgrade has been completed successfully and the database is ready to use. So that's it, uh, the database upgrade also completed successfully. Click close and uh, you can now connect it to database and uh, even verify from within the database. So let us connect it to the database. We may have to set the environment variable. So let me open my bash profile file. I have set Oracle base, Oracle home, and now let me set Oracle SID. You can see the banner itself uh, uh, tells you the story it has been upgraded to 19C. You can also execute this query, uh, select a star from V$ version. Now you clearly see uh, it is showing you 19C version. Earlier before starting the upgrade, we executed the same query 
at the time it was showing 18C version. So that's it. With this uh, database upgrade has been completed and uh, the total upgrade uh, uh, of Oracle 18C rack has been upgraded to Oracle 19C.